I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. The video I recommend today is of a song by Super Simple Songs. You can find out more about them here. And this is their YouTube channel. They make songs for kids, so if you teach children you might want to check out their CDs because they look pretty good. And it's hard to find good music for kids' classes. And if you live in Tokyo and you have children who want to learn English, then check out their school, Knock Knock English. There are some dodgy schools out there, but this one looks like one of the really good ones with dedicated teachers who put a lot of effort into their classes and they make material available online for free, which I think is very cool. Anyway, this video is of the song Five Little Monkeys. I just watched it recently and it brought back such memories. I had a student in Tokyo called Chikako. She was great, I really miss her. And she loved the song, and we sang it over and over, doing actions and stuff. It was really fun. It was a different version than this one, but I like this one too. I love the animations of the monkeys jumping on the bed. As for music for adults, I recommend you check out Midnight Oil, a classic Australian band. For example, this song, Beds Are Burning, good song and good for studying too. The lyrics aren't too difficult and they're interesting. And you might learn about Australian history too. If your teacher's from Australia or you have an Australian friend, maybe you could ask them what this song means and they might tell you a bit about Australian history. Kia ora, in Stuck News today, the Australian Prime Minister-elect has named his cabinet and he's chosen a former rock singer as his environment minister. Midnight Oil was an Australian band that began in the early 1970s. Wikipedia says the band was known for its driving hard rock sound, intense live performances and its political activism. The singer of the band was Peter Garrett. In 1984, Garrett co-founded a political party called the Nuclear Disarmament Party. He stood for a seat in the Australian Senate that year, but he didn't win. In 2002, Garrett decided to quit the band to focus on his political career. Two years later, he stood for a seat with the Labour Party and won. Garrett is a Christian and some people say he's a sellout. During an election campaign in 2006, he urged voters not to vote for the Australian Green Party, but for his own Labour Party. Garrett was re-elected in the 2007 federal election, but his campaign was apparently fraught with a number of tactical errors, including confiding in a journalist that Labour would simply change all their policies once they got into power. Today, Prime Minister-elect Kevin Rudd named Garrett Minister for the Environment, Heritage and Arts. And that was Stick News for Thursday the 29th of November. Kia ora. Can you tell me about Australian history? You never studied it at school. What kind of history do you study in New Zealand? What's a state school? Oh, okay. You must have learned something. You never watched the news? Not really. I don't know much about it. No, not that I can remember. Hmm, good question. Well, at high school, I guess it depends on the kind of school you go to for a start. But the school I went to was a pretty typical state school. Um, like, not a private school. It's government funded and anyone can go there. And there was a subject that we had to take in third and fourth form called social studies. I don't remember learning anything in social studies though. Yeah, I just remember doing these quizzes on current affairs and I'd get like two answers right out of 20. No, I never watched it. We didn't have a TV and my parents, they listened to the radio and bought a magazine called The Listener, but when I was like, 13. I wasn't interested in the news at all. Peter Garrett used to be the singer of which band? A. U2, B. Silverchair, C. Midnight Oil. C. 
In 1984, Peter Garrett co-founded a political party called the A. Nuclear Disarmament Party B. Nuclear Disagreement Party C. Nuclear Endorsement Party A. Peter Garrett is now a member of A. The Nuclear Disarmament Party B. The Australian Greens C. The Australian Labor Party C. Peter Garrett is A. Christian B. Atheist C. Agnostic A. Peter Garrett is now the Minister for A. Environment, Housing and Music B. Environment, Heritage and Arts C. Environment, Horticulture and Defence B. And that was The Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow.